This is your quick, easy guide in Hogwarts Legacy for your second trial, Charles Rockwood's trial. First, you want to head over to this magical area. It's going to guide you over here where you can click to begin. It opens a portal you're going to run on through. Nothing to see in this room. Just head straight on forward for the door. And now you're in the trial. Run down this hallway. On the other side of this room, there is a staircase. You're going to want to head up that way. And in this little cubby room, as you run up the steps, there is a magic showing you where to go, which is to this portal here. Once you activate that, you'll see that on the other side is open a portal. Now we have to figure out a way to get over there. Run back down the steps and head over into its direction. Now you'll see underneath it is a crate here. We're going to use our pull spell to pull it out and get it into position here. Now once you get it out here, you want to drag it up against the wall right here. And then you want to levitate it. This you can climb up onto and then jump onto the ledge. Now head on down this hallway. It's going to shift a little bit. Don't worry, just keep running through. You're going to run across another shifting bridge. And you're going to see that the magic is showing you where the next opening of the portal kind of ancient magic here. And we're going to activate that. Now you'll see the portal right here has now opened up. Now pay attention here. When you run through, you can see this tower. We're not really able to move the towers when they're in this shape. They're too heavy. However, this portal has two sides, and there's this thing. Hit that, it's going to rotate it. Now what you want to do is you want to rotate it so that when you face it, the blue side is here, and when you go through, you'll see that now it has shrunk. Now we can move this one. So what I did was I moved it right through the portal. Then run back through the portal on this side, and then you're going to head right on down the hallway. A bridge appears. You can see that there is a knight on the other side. These are much like the ones you fought before. He's going to activate when you get over here, and a couple of his goons are going to pop out, which are just the smaller knights. Take those out. I recommend trying to take out as many of the small ones as you can. It just makes it less hectic. Remember, you can disarm them. Use ancient magic when it's available to take out one of the small ones in one shot. And just watch out. Make sure you're dodging a lot and not getting hit by the big guy. He's going to be the one that's going to take the big chunks of damage. Watch out for the blue circles on the ground. Make sure you roll out of the way of those. All right, now we are going to continue on through after we defeated those knights. And you'll see a little bit of nature here on the side. That's how you know you didn't accidentally get turned around going the right way. When you see this magic, you're going to follow it once again. Activate here. And this portal opens. Now, this one's a little strange. When you hit that through the portal, it does twist it around. Now, what I did was first I hit it once. I twisted it. I got the treasure chest. I ran back through this portal. And at first, I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't see anything back here. And it was a little confusing because we're actually trying to get to that side over there. However, when you hit this thing, all it does is rotate back and forth between these directions. So here's what I did. It worked. I knocked it back over to where I could get over where that statue was. I ran through, destroyed the statue. Make sure you activate that before you run across. And then you've got a path all the way through. Run up the steps. They're going to wave around a little bit. And the magic is starting to draw you towards another activation port here. So click that. And now we can see once again right there in the center. Now notice this statue that's up here. We're going to be using that. There's going to be some knights down here. One on each side. Now here's where things get a little interesting. This one, no problem. Just kill him. Nothing fancy here. Same as you fought before. The one on the other side though is invisible. And you can't hit him when he's invisible. Here's the secret. You can either shoot him through the portal, or you can trick him into walking through the portal so you can see him, and then finish him off. Once he's dead, we've got a thing to activate here. When we hit that, the room shifts around. Now what you want to do is you want to move it until you can see right there. See? Through this side, that has become smaller, which means we can now move it just like before. So grab it, drag it through the portal just like this. Now, it took me a second to figure out where I'm supposed to drag this thing to. I wasn't sure what platform I was even supposed to be on at first. But the secret is, through one of these sides of the portal, there's a platform actually right above this portal. And the other side, there isn't. Let me show you what I mean. When I run through this side, there's a, port there's a, a platform up there. Now, that's where we're actually trying to get to. But we can't move it when it's like that. So what we want to do is make sure it's in the form that we can move once again, right like that. So we're going to run through this side. We're going to 
drag it right, right through the portal. And you want to bring it right over here on top of the stairs, okay? Once you get it here, put it right here towards the edge. And we're going to have to rotate that platform so that it's all lined up. So hit the switch. It makes it rotate over. Make it levitate. Jump up here. And then jump onto the platform. Now we can run across. Now, we can't get all the way over there yet. But, thankfully, we have that switch right over here that rotates. Hit it. It's going to move the bridge around. Bam, now you can run and jump across. Run across the bridge here. It's going to shift and it's going to be real freaky. It's going to be like a bad acid trip as you come down the steps there. You're going to make a left and another left because there is a treasure right here beside these stairs that you came down. So make sure you grab that and then head out. Make another left. Destroy that statue. Don't know if you need to or not, but I did it and I think you should too. And there's going to be some knights up here. You want to take care of those. And after they're defeated, we find a room here with another of these portals. We're going to activate that, and the portal's right behind us, but it does have this gate on it. There's another switch here that you can activate, and when you do that, what's going to happen here is it's going to rotate this portal, just like in the other puzzles. And you can see that through one side, it's a treasure chest, and through the other side, it was actually one of those boxes. So let's get it rotating. Let's grab that box, and let's pull it right on through. Now, we've got it as a treasure chest through here, through this side. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open that treasure. Head back into the hallway. We're going to run all the way down through here, up these steps. Now, this door is going to open on its own. Sometimes it takes a second. You may think it's not going to open, but it will. Just wait for it. Head on through. The next door is going to open up. You're going to head through there. Get this treasure on your way out on the left, and then head across the bridge that appears. Wave around as you run across. All right, now you got some of these invisible knights again. Remember what I said, you can trick them to go through the portal or you can shoot them through the portal when you can see them. You're gonna have to use the portal in order to either trick them into coming through it so that you can attack them or shoot them through that portal with magic. There's nothing really special about this fight. It's just like the other knights that you fought before, except for the, there's gonna be about three of them who are invisible that you're gonna have to get through the portal. Once you've defeated all of them, a boss is going to pop up. This is much like the one you fought in the first try. You're going to have to dodge out of the way when he does the slam down with his foot. When you see him powering up the purple, what you want to do is hit it with some powerful magic. If you can hit that purple ball enough, it will actually dissipate, and then you don't have to dodge. But you can dodge it, or you can heal through it with potions. But destroying that ball, because you can attack it when he starts summoning it. Just use your most powerful attacks. It's going to depend on your build. Just use very powerful things. Your slash attack, something, Crucio, whatever's going to do the most damage. Now, when you see the circle around him, stay out of that. And he's going to fall to his knees every time you're using ancient magic on him. Which I recommend doing because it does good damage. It's going to bring him down. You'll get a bunch of good hits in on him while he's down. And then... When he's getting back up, you're going to stand out of the way. Don't be close to him. He's going to do that big AoE around his body. And that's really all there is to this fight. Dodge the foot and try to kill the purple ball. And he does also do this big slam, which you can actually defend against. You don't want to try to roll out of that one when he does the kind of three attack with his weapon. What you want to do there is you want to actually use defend there. Which is triangle on the PlayStation. Y on the Xbox. Once he is defeated, you have beaten the second trial. Charles Rockwood trial is now complete. You're going to get a really cool cutscene, and you have now advanced the story forward. Congratulations on beating the second trial in Hogwarts Legacy. If you enjoyed this guide, please hit the like button for me, and also subscribe for more content. We cover MMORPGs, RPGs, and of course there are going to be and there already is tons of guides for Hogwarts Legacy to make sure it's quick and easy for you to get through them all. Get the treasure chest before you leave, by the way. It's right beside of the final little fountain here you click to end the trial.